With days of canceled flights, millions of travelers stranded in Europe. Just some of the havoc caused by the volcano in Iceland. All new at 6, ABC 15's Jay Reynolds explains how engineers here in the valley are using lessons learned from the volcano to possibly make changes to the way we fly. The engine is used to power uh, small regional or general aviation type aircraft. Just arriving here in the valley, these two turboprop engines are different than anything they've seen before at Honeywell. These particular engines are unique in that they operated in a uh, volcanic ash cloud. Used on a scientific plane, the engine spent 10 hours inside the ash of the Iceland volcano not a recommended practice. The debris that is inside of a volcanic cloud is not something generally you would want your aircraft engine to ingest. But that's why these engines are special. By testing and disassembling them, the engineers can learn, maybe stopping the cancellation of flights because of ash in the future. And from that, we will develop operational procedures or changes to oper operational procedures. And just in the first few minutes of using a small camera to look inside, they notice corrosion. I don't know if it is the same or different than things that we have seen before flying in other kinds of environments. That's what they're here to learn. It's our responsibility to make sure that we provide the best information to our operators. New information to help travelers get to their destination without cancellations. In Phoenix, Jay Reynolds, ABC 15 News.